From the home of the Widener Pride, this is WidenerPride.com as we can begin our series of preseason interviews for the 2011-2012 winter season. I'm joined by our swimming coach, Katie Peterson. Katie, Hello. thank you for joining us. First off, welcome to Widener. Um, thank you. First, let's talk about the women's team. They are the reigning Mid-Atlantic Conference champion. Talk about the squad and what you're looking for this season. Well, I'm really excited to be here first off. Um, so far with the preseason training that we've had, things have gone really, really well. Um, the women, you know, are in a good place right now. We've got a solid team. They won last year. There's a lot of girls coming back. There's a strong sophomore class. We've got one senior, um, some really good juniors, and then we've got uh, four freshmen that are coming in. So it's a, it's a pretty strong group that I think could make some moves this year as well and, and hopefully qualify some people for NCAAs. And the men's team uh, prior to last year, five-time defending conference champs. Last year, still a great season, second place finish. Talk about what you're looking for with the men's team this year. Um, the men's team is going to be, I think, more of a transitional year where we're working on growth and taking some of those guys to the next level. Don't have as many upperclassmen. Um, graduated a big class last year, so that kind of left us in a bit of a hole. But I think with the way things are going, we could also have some kids qualify for NCAAs and try to get back that MAC championship title. Since taking over as coach, you've been planning some new training sessions. Uh, just talk about what you're doing with the team. Yeah, actually really excited. Um, you know, I got a bunch of dry land equipment, put in some pull-up bars, uh, got some awesome cords, plyo boxes, just kind of really mixing it up a lot. Mm -hmm. So we train doubles, but sometimes our doubles are, you know, half a lifting, dynamic lifting, dry land phase, and then in the pool for the other session. Um, and I think the kids are really buying in, and that's the whole thing. You know, they're loving it. They're putting everything they've got into it when they're here, and it's going to pay off big time. I think, you know, we swim Drexel on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, while they're a Division One team that's a really solid team, and, you know, they've got scholarships and they've got everything that you could want for D1, I think we can still win some races. I think we can still get some seconds, some thirds, and really go for some almost best times. Um, our women, we had an alumni meet that was awesome turnout from alumni. We had probably 20 alumni swimming who actually were in great shape and had mm -hmm. a blast. And then we had a breakfast afterwards. And I really think that, you know, the girls had a 200 medley that pretty much was a second off our school record here. Mm -hmm. So we could see some amazing things um, on Wednesday as well. And I'm telling the team just to go after, you know, their personal bests mm -hmm. and, and see what they can do. When we hit March of 2012, and the season ends, what would you have liked to have accomplished when the season's over? I want to survive for those MAC titles again on both sides. I want us to be a team. And honestly, sometimes, you know, it sounds weird because we are the Widener Pride, but I want them to have pride in this program and really feel like they've made some, some leaps um, and then get some people to NCAAs. Mm -hmm. I want to get as many as we can there, get some relays there, and, and really make a statement out there. Well, as Katie mentioned, the season opens on October 19th when the Pride are home against Drexel. We thank swimming coach Katie Peterson for joining us. Thank you. And we thank you for your support of Widener University Athletics. Go